Hello and welcome to the complete beginner's guide to using your Nexus 7 Android tablet. In this series of videos I will guide you through the absolute basics and essentials of using your new touchscreen device in simple digestible 5 minute 5 point chunks. These videos are aimed at newcomers to the world of tablets so if you do have more experience using touchscreen devices please refer to my ultimate basics guide. In part one we will look at what happens when you first switch on your tablet and the very basic things you need to do to navigate the welcome screens. Next we will briefly look at the on-screen keyboard and how to use it. The third topic is the home screen, the screen you will use most on your tablet. And attached to the home screen is a home screen dock where you can keep your most important programs. And finally, we will take a look at the application drawer, where you'll find pretty much anything that's on the tablet. So, if you haven't done so already, switch on your tablet and let's start setting it up. This is the welcome screen, and it's your first opportunity to touch the screen. So simply press the arrow button in the bottom right of the screen. The next question the tablet will ask you is if you have a Google account. In order to download programs, check your emails and use other Google services, you will need an account. It's free and simple to do, but for the purposes of this video we will skip this section and set it up in a later video, so press no for now. The next screen will again ask you if you want to set up a Google account and you can look at more information if you press on the information button, but again we are going to skip this step so we can move on with the setting up process. The next question asks you about whether or not you want the tablet to be able to identify your location. This is useful for satellite navigation or telling people where you are if you post on social network sites such as Facebook. You may want to keep such information private however. The default settings are set to on and I recommend keeping the settings like this. Say hello to your on-screen keyboard. Whenever you are on a text line and the cursor is blinking, the keyboard will appear at the bottom of the screen. There are two ways to use a keyboard. First, the traditional method. Simply press the key to type in the letter. The second method is a glide method. Press on the screen, keep your finger on the screen and glide from one letter to another. As you build up your word, it will automatically spell the word you are trying to use. This might take a while to get used to, so practice. So that's your name sorted. All you need to do now is agree to Google's Terms of Service. Press the arrow button and you'll be taken straight to your home screen. Unless you reset the tablet or add a new user, you will never have to go through this process again. This is your home screen and while it may look a bit sparse at the moment, that's because you haven't created a Google account just yet. So don't worry about that too much. These blank frames will turn into pictures soon. You have more than one home screen and you can switch between them by pressing on the screen and then swiping left or right. Over the course of these guides, we will slowly add more and more things to these home screens. At the bottom of your home screen, you will see seven icons. This is your home screen dock and it's fixed on screen. This is where you should keep your favourite programs so you can access them quickly and easily. We'll look at how to organise this dock in a future video. In this quick example I have pressed on the Google folder and it displays all the popular Google programs such as Gmail, Maps, YouTube and more. Again we'll investigate folders and these programs in a future video. Finally in today's video, the middle icon in your dock is your application drawer. In the tablet world, programs are commonly known as applications or apps, so we'll call them apps from now on. All the apps on your tablet can be found here, as well as home screen widgets, and we'll look at both of these areas in a lot more detail in future videos. Five minutes, five points, and you're up and running with your new tablet. Thanks for watching this video. Check out part 2 to carry on where this video has finished and if you think you might know someone who would find this video useful, please share it with them. See you again soon. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please click that thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. 
And if you're hungry for more videos, subscribe. It's free after all.